Hello everybody, this is SoyGCho.com and today we're taking a look at the Sony QNX100 uh, It's a new accessory that comes up that uh, Sony has produced Essentially what it is, is a lens that is also a camera So you get everything that's in a camera in this lens uh, You have Carl Zeiss optics uh, with an aperture of up to 1.8 uh, stops so That's really uh, good for low light um, you get a X1R sensor, one inch, pretty big sensor, uh, pretty good for point and shoot. There's a built-in battery, there's NFC, uh, there's Wi-Fi, a micro SD card slot. Uh, you can zoom in, zoom in and zoom out from here and there's also a shutter button. Uh, okay, problem with the shutter button is uh, it doesn't do half presses. So a press is a snap, uh, so if you want to do micro, micro shots or uh, get your subjects in focus this is uh, not really convenient uh, but you can also do focusing on your smartphone so how does this work oh, let's, let's talk about uh, some of the hardware aspects I just want to show you uh, some of the ports and slots so there's a micro micro USB port here for charging the battery uh, micro SD card slot reset button here and things like that uh, at the back so this is the bracket that holds uh, the lens to the the phone it is expandable but currently it supports uh, phones up to only five inches uh, the good thing about this thing is that it's removable so hopefully Sony will make more uh, brackets uh, that can take bigger devices and pro possibly tablets um, so at the back panel it's removable so you get a battery and also your essential information so basically this is the it connects to your phone via Wi-Fi uh, you just look for this address enter the password and you're connected uh, pictures that you take with this lens goes to your camera via Wi-Fi alternatively you can store them in the micro SD card slot you need uh, the micro SD card slot is a must if you want to take videos because obviously you cannot transfer uh, videos quickly enough via Wi-Fi uh, for this lens to be useful alright so let me just lock this back in place so this cap is a bit so I've got it upside down in the first place right so this cap is a bit fiddly but you get used to it uh, another interesting thing also it has this mini uh, LED panel it's so small uh, you miss it uh, it shows you if there's a micro SD card uh, in the device uh, and I'm not sure what else Okay, uh, at the top, power button and quite possibly um, microphone ports because it shoots video as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it works. Essentially, you need to install an application. Uh, it works on any Android phone. First thing you need to do is install an, uh, an application. So the application is called uh, Play Memories. This is already available on uh, Google Play Store and also on uh, the App Store for iOS. Open it up, it will detect uh, the, the, cam the lens that are, that are available and it will connect automatically if there's only one lens. So as, as you can see, this is now a viewfinder. The amazing thing about this uh, lens is also it has an accelerometer, so it knows its orientation in space. So when you do that, uh, that happens. So that's interesting. So you take portrait or landscape mode. Uh, again, you can do zoom in and zoom out from this, from here. It's optical zoom, obviously. You can take pictures from here as well. Again, no half presses, so we have to make sure that it's in focus. And then there you go. Pictures taken, it's transferred to your device. And you can share it straight or it's stored there. Okay. So, uh, refresh rate is a bit laggy sometimes, but for the most part, it's okay. Uh, you have settings. Essentially, it's similar to what you get on a Sony smartphone. But it's rather limited right now. So there's movie and photos. Obviously, movies for video. We can't test video right now. And there's other settings here as well. For cell timer and things like that. Uh, for the application, the settings are quite limited at the moment. But this is the first, first version. So I'm sure Sony is going to improve on this. Um, other limitations, there's no flash. Uh, we're, I'm not sure how long the battery will last on this. So 
we need to test that out fully. But from our first hands-on, this is first first look at this thing. The possibilities are limitless. Uh, you can do amazing things with this. We have some sample shots on our website, soyachinshow.com, so you can uh, go there to check out some of the sample shots. But this is this is this is one of the most innovative accessories we've ever seen uh, in the, for this year. So it's a must-have. So hopefully. Sony is going to price this uh, well and make it very desirable for a lot of people. Uh, you can have any camera phone, uh, attach this to that uh, camera phone and you have an amazing camera. Alright, so that's pretty much it. That was the first look at the Sony QX100. This is SoyChinshow.com. As always, thanks very much for watching the video. Thanks very much for liking the video and thanks very much for subscribing to our channel. SoyChinshow.com. Catch you guys later.